Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play The Eye of the Beholder 2, The Legend of Dark Moon. And when last we left off, we made it past that lightning trap to the other side of that area, and found a few things that may have been worth our trouble. The experience is always worth it, though. We disabled most of that trap, and then we moved on to the second floor, where we found lots and lots of giant wasps. We spent a little time there, and then we ran away, because giant wasps and they're really dangerous, no doubt. And then we got to this puzzle, Faith is the Key. We need to figure out a way to get past all four doors. There's this that opens up this way, then this, and then this, which does all but open one of the doors, because this door is open, this door is open, this door is open... Wait! One of the lower bricks on the west wall is out of place! Let's use that. Well spotted! I didn't notice that myself! You have a keen eye for seeing things which are out of place! Thank you! From you I'll take that as a great compliment! And you should! I am well versed in my skill base, after all! Let's see if that has changed anything. We need to go and use this one here. Faith is the key. Faith is the key. I think we need to stand on it. You mean fall down it. I remember our previous adventures, Lilanva. We ended up falling down a lot of pits. No, no, no. It's a test of faith, Sandstar. If we step on this, I'm sure we won't fall. Because we pressed a switch over there in the corridor. This is really spurious logic, trust me. I think we'll be fine. If you say so. See? A test of faith. You are indeed right. It's wise to trust her judgment in these matters. She's well versed in it, after all. Yes, I'll keep that in mind. Let's keep moving. Through here. Oh look! More of these! And no, we don't like fighting these, because they're probably going to do more than just, uh, paralyze us. Where's that lightning bolt? Might as well use it. It'll hit lots of them, after all. There we go. Brilliant. That'll definitely help. And you have been paralyzed. At least you haven't been poisoned. I'm waiting for that to happen, personally. Speaking of that, we should probably prepare a neutralized poison or two, if I don't already have some. Let us remove paralysis and see about getting that ready, shall we? Now, not uh, that one, this one here. I believe that is under... yep, it's here. We already have one ready. Good! I was already prepared. Thanks, past me! Let's look around. Oh boy! More of those nests, which means lots and lots... Oh dear! Right, we need to deal with that quickly, because that will eventually kill Valendra. Poison was a terrifying thing in the first game. Here is no exception. She hasn't been hit by the poison yet, but we'll deal with this right now. Hold still. Let me deal with that. Thank you. I felt it coursing through my veins. It surely would have killed me in time. We do not want to have a repeat of the spider lair in the sewers of Waterdeep, that's for sure. Let's explore quickly and get out of here, as quickly as we can. You don't need to tell me twice. Let's keep moving. There is a door there, and we need a copper key. If we hadn't have gone to the other area full of wasps, we would have been stuck here. So, let's open this up, and let's see what lies beyond. Probably doom. Hopefully no more giant wasps. A big corridor. Greetings once again. You have almost completed the test of faith. There is one more obstacle which you must face. You have learned well, and I trust that our teachings have not been in vain. The door to the left will lead you to the next trial. The door to the right is almost certain death. Hmm. Left or right? Which one do we pick? We don't want to fall into certain death, that's for sure. 
It's a very harsh lesson to teach indeed. Left or right? Hmm. I'm not sure. It's a fifty-fifty chance either way. Haven't we read something about this before? What do you mean, Amber? Well, one of the plaques said, Who can be trusted? What about it? Can we trust what this person is saying? Are you saying that if we listen to what the person said, we'll die? What better way to weed out those that aren't prepared to be in the Church of Dark Moon? I cannot deny that logic, Amber. It's really strong. It could also get us killed, but it's the only thing that we have. We'll go with your idea. We'll go right. There are two teleporters, I imagine. One here, one here. Let's go to the right! Aha! We were right to go this way! Marvellous! Let us rest, recuperate, get ready for the third floor. Because the third floor is likely to be as deadly as the second was. And we're going to save, because who knows, we might get horribly trapped if we don't. There we go, game saved, and up we go to the third floor. Hopefully we picked right, and we're not going to die now. I think we did. Brilliant. Another stairway. I thought I heard someone whistling in the distance. Whistling? Hmm. Let's be cautious. Very cautious. There's a door here, and we have a key for that. Let me try and unlock it first. Hmm. Don't think we'll be getting in that way. Oh. This is interesting. The last children of Darkmoon did not heed our warnings. Now they are dust which we blow down these corridors. Will you become dust as well? I do not know. We'll grab these. We may need them. Dust. Hmm. I'll keep that in mind. He could have just been talking absolute rubbish, you know. The way through three is two, not four. Hmm. There are doors here. One. One, two, and two. That's four. And that's six. What if we go into here? This could end badly for us. I thought you were wiser than this. Oh! Oh, oh! Let's close that one. That wasn't it. That was not it. Oh! Okay, no idea what that is, but you know what? You're getting fireballed. And it exploded! That looked an awful lot like a beholder. Yes. What could the beholders be doing here? I don't know, Valendra. But I do not like it. I do not like it at all. Maybe they're linked to the Temple of Dark Moon? Which would mean... It would mean that the Temple of Dark Moon and the Sewers of Waterdeep are one and the same evil force. That wasn't quite like a beholder, though, was it? It only moved forward and exploded. I've never heard of a beholder that exploded before. Hmm, you have a point. When we have feasted, it is I who sings the praise. When we have hungered, it is I who breathes the pain. Oh! That was a fireball! Oh! That was nasty! Let's do some resting! Because, ouch! Hopefully we don't need to do anything with that puzzle-wise, because we nearly died there! I knew I couldn't trust those mouths! They're going to be the death of us. 
Lots of other things are probably going to be the death of us. Like those giant wasps that we encountered. And whatever else is here. I don't want to think about whatever else is here, Calandra. Perhaps we'll meet more clerics. I still don't want to think about what we'll meet up here. We have met some really difficult enemies. And at some point we're probably going to have to open up that door. There's no door over here. You're not going to do anything anymore, which is good. Over here is a grand total of nothing. There are doors. This one cannot open. Oh no, it can. It can. Let's see, rotten food. We'll take it, I suppose. And rotten food. Let's quickly leave, shall we? Let's leave and have a look in here. Oh! Oh dear! That looked like a giant serpent of some kind. Ah! Hold still. Let me deal with that. Oh dear! Well, that's not good. Are you just going to keep... Yep, you're just going to keep, uh... Spitting out giant flying serpents? I hope not. Let's close this door, shall we? And hope there's something down here that makes going this way worth it. And not a giant flying serpent. You don't seem to want to come this way. You will now, though, because you've seen me. Yep. Fortunately, you don't take that much damage. You do hit quite hard, though. Hopefully we can deal with you quickly, because serpents are bad enough, but ones that fly? Even worse. We did get a Dark Moon key, though. Hold on to that. And we'll keep looking around. Oh, there are more of them! Oh boy! Said nobody ever at the giant flying poisonous serpents. This game sure has some interesting enemies. I've never encountered this kind of enemy before. There are lots... No one is able to pry this open. Okay, there are lots of enemies... Welcome, children. You have done well thus far. However, your temperament has yet to be challenged. Take heed as you travel forth. You must not tarry. Consider all that you have learned and choose the right door. Choose wrongly and feel my master's wrath. Well, I think we have another puzzle here, but let's keep looking around regardless. We may find something of importance. Like one of them. We'll just let that get closer, shall we? Are you actually going to come closer? Did that hit? Well, something's coming closer, so hopefully that did hit. The answer is I think it did. Which is good, knowing that uh, even though we can't see the fireball, it still goes off. That's encouraging. So, there's... ooh... Something here. Lots of goodies, maybe? Let's see, banded armor? Hold on to that. Leather boots? Polearm leech? And a short sword? Is it all magical? Let's find out. Detect magic. The answer is... Everything but the boots appear to be magical. We should probably cast Create Food. Let's do that. Create Food. Done. We could try and identify all of this. I think that's a good idea. So let us... Memorize spells and some improved identify. And of course, a few remove curses. There we go. Can we rest here safely? No! Monsters are near. I don't see them. Ooh, lots of things here. Potions of cure poison. Those are pretty handy to have. Especially with all of the uh, flying serpents. We can rest here, though. That's good, because then we can sort through all of the stuff that we have. Or that we found, rather. It's ours now, anyway. So, we'll start with this. 
It's not cursed. That's always good. What is it? It is... Plus two banded armor. Is it better than what you're currently wearing? Your armor class is currently minus four. No, it's, it's not better. It's not better at all. It might be better than what you're wearing. Two and one. It's slightly better than what you're wearing. So we'll put that down. And we'll have a look at everything uh, else. Let's have a look at this uh, short sword. Is it really good? It's plus three. That's quite nice. We'll hold on to that for now. And finally, this polearm. The polearm leech. It's cursed. Of course it's cursed. So we shall get rid of that, or at the very least, not do very much with it. Minus two. We have a uh, normal polearm here. Ideally, we would like to hold on to some things. We'll get rid of this rotten food. You can keep the dagger. What else do we have here? Cure poison. Raise dead. Now that is something that we want to keep a hold of. Let's get rid of this skull. Don't need the skull. And more cure poison, cure poison, cure poison. Don't need any of them. Possibly don't need any of these either. Which means we could then make room for that and that. Okay, so we've gone over here. We have found lots of really neat stuff. Time to move on. And rest, because we want to change what you have memorized. Because we definitely do not want to... Uh, Remove Curse, we'll have uh, Ice Storm, and we will have Blur and Melf's Acid Arrow. There we go. And rest. Let's keep looking around very carefully, and be mindful of all the enemies that will poison us. This will not open. I can hear those serpents. This is the way we need to go if we want to uh, progress, as it were. And let us head back backwards. There's a door here, and there is a serpent, or two, or three. Let's deal with them as quickly as we can. How many of them are there going to be? That's a good question. A lot is the answer. A lot. Hopefully not an unlimited supply. Well, we fought about four or five of them. There's another one. They don't seem that good at hitting us. So let's deal with you. And hopefully that will be... Oh dear. Oh dear. Right, where is magic missile? Let's start using it, shall we? Just to deal with all of you. Maybe I shouldn't have come back. Maybe not. Magic missile is fine, though, to uh, deal some extra damage. And you have been poisoned. Let's deal with that right now. Deal with that before it becomes a bigger problem. Have we dealt with all of them now? There's one over there. And I think that's all of them. Hopefully. Because I do want to explore around here before we move on. Now, there's this way. And this way led to... You? Did I actually explore this way properly? If I did, there's nothing down here. There is that door with the bone... Uh, let's go over here, shall we? There was the way with the bone lock that I'm going to uh, be very careful about. Was it this way? It was this way. And here's one of those serpents. You know, if it isn't wasps and ants, it's flying serpents. This place truly is bizarre. Let us open this, shall we? Using one of these keys. I hope we don't need to actually... We'll do that next time. But when we come back, folks, we'll continue to explore up here, on the third floor of this tower. Will we find what we're looking for? Will we find clues as to what's going on in Dark Moon? Only one way to find out, to go through this door, and inevitably fight more giant flying poisonous serpents. Because of course, what else would be here? 
many things, it would seem. Many things. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.